Welcome back everyone. In today's video, we are showing you the incredible lifestyle of 58-year-old Chinese business magnate Jack Ma, net worth 25.3 billion. In 1999, Jack set up Alibaba, a global e-commerce platform, and became one of the wealthiest people on the planet. But it hasn't been easy. In 1982, at the age of 18, Ma didn't get into college because he scored only one point in math. Then, he and his cousins applied to be waiters in a hotel. His cousin got the job, but Jack did not. They said he was too skinny and too short. Find out about how Jack Ma made it to the top, how he is investing and enjoying his billions, and the endless trouble and strife he is getting from the Chinese government. His Early Life Ma Yun, otherwise known as Jack Ma, is born in Hangzhou, Zhejiang, China on September 10, 1964. His parents are humble musicians. At school, he shows interest in English and practices with English speakers at the Hangzhou International Hotel. From the age of 12, Ma is listening to English radio stations on his pocket radio. His passion for the language becomes his road to success. Ma devoted nine years of his life as a tour guide, practicing English with tourists. Ma befriended one of these tourists who started calling him Jack because his Chinese name is harder to pronounce. At the age of 13, he got transferred to Hangzhou No. 8 Middle School because of fighting. Jack Ma is no pushover. In 1982, at the age of 18, Jack didn't pass his college entry exam. He couldn't even get a job as a waiter. The following year, he failed his college entry exam again, and his parents gave up on him. In 1984, Jack Ma finally passed and became an undergraduate foreign language major at the Hangzhou Normal University. He excelled academically in his foreign language department and got elected chairman of the student union. In 1988, Ma graduated with a Bachelor of Arts in English. He lectured in English and international trade at Hangzhou Dianzi University, but didn't get accepted to Harvard Business School. This didn't stop him at all from accomplishing his entrepreneurial dreams. There's tons of stuff out there that you can never learn at college. But wait, do you agree that you don't need a college degree to be great at business? So what else do you need to make it big? Leave your comments below. Early Businesses Can you believe that this super smart linguist, business genius, and billionaire applied for more than 31 jobs and got rejected by all of them? Has anything like this ever happened to you or anyone you know? How did you cope? Please tell us below. We can all learn from you. We promise you that. Ma himself tells us all about it, this black hole of negativity at the beginning of his career in life. I went for a job with the KFC. They said, you're no good. 24 people went for the job. 23 were accepted. I was the only guy that got rejected. But Jack swallowed his pride and transcended his despair. From then on, he knew that he had to start his own business because no one else wanted to give him a chance. In 1994, Ma started his first business, Hangzhou Haibo Translation Agency. In 1995, he unlocked the power of the internet, creating China Pages with Qi Yibing, a computer teacher. Over the next three years, China Pages made 800K. He got so excited about creating such a lucrative web page. He and his partners celebrated their totally unexpected success. They drank, watched TV, and played cards, waiting. But I was so proud, I proved the internet existed. Since then, this unsuspecting billionaire has never looked back. Alibaba In 1999, he found Alibaba, a Chinese-based business-to-business marketplace. In October that year, this company received a 25 million foreign venture capital investment from SoftBank and Goldman Sachs. This helped grow Alibaba Group into nine major subsidiaries, Alibaba.com, AliExpress.com, Taobo Marketplace, Etao, Tmall, Juizuin, Alibaba Cloud Computing, 1688.com, and Alipay. Ali controlled everything. His company has set itself ethical, practical goals to help more people, to make healthy money, sustainable money, money that is not only good for themselves, but also good for the society. That's the transformation we're aiming to make. Ma served as the executive chairman of the Alibaba Group for 14 years, from 1999 to 2013, before stepping down. He is still a shareholder in the Ant Group, a financial offshoot of Alibaba, singing and acting. Jack Ma loves singing and acting and playing to audiences. In 2009, he dressed up as a heavy metal singer and performed Can You Feel the Love Tonight to celebrate the 10th anniversary of Alibaba. 
I guess he acquired his musical ability from his musician parents. In 2017, he participated once again in a singing and dancing festival at Alibaba. In 2017, Jack played in the kung fu short film Gong Shu Dao on September 8, 2017, on stage during the 18th anniversary of Alibaba in a stunning Michael Jackson-inspired performance. Gong Shu Dao 2017 means on that night, while we dream. This martial arts masterpiece stars Jack Ma lightly disguised as Ma, a kung fu master. One day, Master Ma, played by Jack Ma, is strolling down the street. Suddenly, he reads these letters in the grass. Huashan sect. He closes his eyes. Martial artists appear in front of him and challenge him to fight to the death. Of course, he wins. He even sings the theme song, Fang Ching Yang, named after a fictional martial arts master. 170 million people watch this movie on the internet. Jack Ma really knows how to catch attention. French Vineyards. 58-year-old Jack Ma is the proud owner of three French vineyards, La Chateau Perrin, La Chateau Guerry, and La Chateau de Sours. These three vineyards nestle in the heart of the Bordeaux wine-growing region. The Chateau Perrin is spread over 158 acres, producing around 500,000 bottles of red and white wine every year. Chateau Guerre produces 84,000 bottles of red a year over 50 acres. His Chateau de Sours vineyard includes a beautiful 18th century French castle and produces red and white wines. He has planted roses, hydrangeas, and orchards. There are 88 hens, 55 pigs, 18 beehives, 15 highland cows, pheasants, and horses. Isn't Jack Ma a lucky guy? Endless supplies of delicious French wine. Isn't that a dream come true? China is the largest consumer of red wine in the world too, so Jack has struck it rich one more time. Ma has also purchased a 19 million mansion in Hong Kong. Built in 1949, architect Carl Xu Carlung has transformed it from a historical house into a modern building. The mansion has four ensuite rooms, three bathrooms, and seven living rooms. The design is a blend of east and west. There are satin sofas and black and white checkered floors. There are four big balconies across four stories, a rooftop terrace, and a 220-degree view of the harbor. This house has a 20,000-square-foot private garden that includes a small forest. Slave Labor In 2020, Jack Ma received international criticism because he supported the 996 working hour system. The name 996 suggests, or rather demands, that employees work from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. six days per week. 996, get it? This 996 labor culture is embedded in Chinese IT companies that compete through high speeds and low labor costs. Human rights activists suggest that this is slave labor. The 996 culture is based on a combination of unrestricted global capitalism and discipline and on the traditional Confucian culture of total obedience to the so-called master. Fatigue, sleep disorders, stress, suicide, social alienation, suicide, death, and billions of dollars of profits are the results. Trouble and Strife The central Chinese government is cracking down on big businesses, accusing them of monopolizing markets and bribing local government officials. In 2020, Jack Ma got summoned by China's financial regulators. They fined his company $2.8 billion for indulging in a monopolistic act of abusing its power in the market. In 2021, China's Central Television alleged that Jack bribed the brother of the head of the Communist Party, Hang Zhou. In return, he received the government permission and support that he needed to conduct his private business. The penalty for bribery in China is up to five years in prison, so Jack has gone underground. On a high note, Ma loves golfing at the Sun Valley Golf Resort in the Chinese island of Hainan. He loves flying around in his Gulfstream G650ER jet. His jet costs about 70 million. Ma loves sailing a yacht called Zen that costs 200 million. In October 2021, he anchored his superyacht on the Spanish island of Majorca. His business partner tells us that Jack is doing fine, a lot better it seems than his namesake Jack Sparrow, also known as Johnny Depp. I talk to him every day and message him through our internal messaging platform. He is actually doing very, very well. He has taken up painting as a hobby. It's pretty good.